it's a new way of thinking about uh, seafood production. Uh, if you use one species at a time, like for example all the foods that go for feeding the fish, some of it is not used, so if you do monoculture, that is lost. If you have the mussels, if you have the seaweeds, you recapture this food, this energy, and you go to more crops. So the innovation is to be more efficient at an aquaculture site, get more uh, species on species of commercial value. Normally, aquaculture has taken the industrial agriculture model, one species. I'm a beef farmer, I'm a dairy farmer, I'm a chicken farmer, I grow pigs, I grow grain, right? But you're never a monoculture, right? You're never growing a single species. If you grow grain, you're growing grasshoppers, right? You're growing ants, you're growing birds, right? And so we've just recognized that fact and said, look, we really have an ecosystem here, and so all we're doing is recreating that. The idea of growing mussel and seaweed and fish together is an old idea. It's not new, but it's a new concept for North America. So there's a lot of challenges that we had to overcome. The whole concept of growing more than one species at a time and understanding what that means and, and looking at the farm as an ecosystem and how you can create a balance, I'd say that's innovative and new. In the past it was a matter of saying, okay, here's a piece of water where we can farm fish, they survive well, they grow, and we can get them to market. But now we're looking at a much bigger picture and it's all about that focus on sustainability. Cook aquaculture and uh, is very passionate about what they're doing. They, they definitely are seeing the benefit of, of the science being produced here. And this is because they have put a lot of their soul on this project. So this is a very dynamic and passionate company. The partners we're working with on this project are great, just terrific. Um, we share a lot of passion. Uh, you know, Dr. Uh, Terry Chopin and Sean Robinson are both uh, good examples of people who are very passionate about what they do, uh, both from an academic side, but they're also very interested in the application. They like to see some of the work that they do uh, be real and to actually contribute to a business, to uh, contribute to the livelihood of people that are involved in that business. Well, I think NSERC has basically been the, the glue that's held it all together. It really allowed this whole thing to move up to that, you know, to a level where industry believed in the concept. NSERC has been critical as a funding partner in order to allow us to actually explore all these options and get them to a point of being an economically viable operation. It's very important because if, uh, if you develop a project and it remains at the experimental scale, the small scale, and you completely forget the, the way to go to commercialization, then the good ideas will not necessarily continue on. With the Synergy Awards, what we are recognizing is that this uh, discovery type of research can be applied. The aquaculture industry in this country is under tremendous pressure from international competition. The only way that they're going to be able to uh, keep ahead of the competition is through research and development activities. They realize that and it's projects such as this that uh, I believe they see as the way forward in their future. I would say a stunning success. I mean it's been enjoyable, I mean the, the, the relationships that you know Terry and I have created you know, are probably pretty long-lasting. We have been at it for seven years. It's, uh, it has been a wonderful experience. It, uh, for me as a biologist, I have discovered many other things in terms of social aspect, economic aspect, other part of biology, regulations. It's not easy. Uh, we don't always speak the same jargonese, uh, but when it works, it's very rewarding. And uh, for me, it, uh, it has been a wonderful partnership, also a lot of fun.